Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates. Today I'm bringing out my crock pot. Oh, it's fall in the air somewhere. But let me tell you, in Southeast Texas, we're still fighting for it. <laughs> Summer's still hanging on, but I'm not hanging on anymore. I'm ready to bring out some fall dishes. <sighs> All right, so fall, crock pot, soup. I am making creamy chicken noodle soup. I was so excited to make this. My family was like, yes. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you everything we're gonna to need to make this soup, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always be ready when my shows are posted for fall, winter, and any season. So if you're ready, let's go. All right, here's everything you're gonna to need to make this crock pot creamy chicken noodle soup. And I am using about two and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast, which is sitting in my crock pot right now, getting ready. Now, this is my favorite type of pasta to use when I'm cooking soups or just any kind of noodles. Popperdell egg pasta. This is Sam's Choice. I picked this up at Walmart in their pasta section. You're gonna need some heavy cream and some flour. Now this will be towards the end to use as a thickener. And we have some garlic. I'm gonna be using this poultry seasoning right here. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Got some pepper, some salt as an extra seasoning if needed. I'm bringing in my veggies. I've got an organic foursome vegetable medley here. It's carrots, green beans, corn, and peas. Now you can put whatever you want in yours. Now these are four cups each of chicken broth. So I'll be making, putting all eight cups into the crock pot. And then what's gonna cook in there with it is some cream of chicken soup. All right. Well, let's get started putting this together. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and lay our chicken into the bottom of the crock pot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and season both sides of my chicken breast. And I've got some poultry seasoning here. Now poultry seasoning has thyme, sage, marjoram, rosemary, nutmeg, and black pepper. So, you know, if you don't have poultry seasoning, you can just add those seasonings in here, about half a teaspoon of each if you'd like. But what I'm gonna do is just take it and I'm just gonna sprinkle it over my chicken. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and salt. And we're gonna add some extra pepper to it. All right, now depending on how much garlic you want in there, you'll put that in at this point. Just a little bit because we're gonna put the other half on the, when we flip the chicken over. We get rid of this spoon. Turn my chicken over. Ooh, that flavor and all that chicken. Oh yeah. All right, y'all, that poultry seasoning, oh my gosh, it already smells delicious. Jeez. All right, I'm using a new spoon because I had touched the chicken earlier with the other one. This is what's gonna create that nice soup flavor. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and add one can of cream of chicken soup. This will aid in flavor and also as a thickener. I'm gonna go ahead and add my eight cups of chicken broth. Now, if you wanna half this recipe, you can certainly do that. I intend on having some leftovers. <laughs> yes. All 
All right, we're ready to put a lid on it. I'm gonna set this on low for six to eight hours. And then about an hour before it's totally done, we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish this off. I'll see you then. All right, so it's at the six hour mark. I'm gonna go ahead now and pull my chicken out of the crock pot and I'm gonna lay it on my cutting board here and start shredding it up. Cause it is falling apart, as you can see, that just happened. All right, you can see it right there. I was gonna just kind of cube this up, but because it's just shredding apart, that's the way we'll leave it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and make the thickener, which is gonna consist of one cup of my chicken broth from the crock pot. Just gonna put it into a mixing bowl here. Probably a little bit more, there we go. All right, I'm gonna add about half a cup of heavy cream. All right, and then I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of flour. Then I'm just gonna whisk that all together. All right, we're gonna go ahead now and take that mixture and add it back into our chicken stock that we created. We'll give that a stir. I'm gonna add back in all of the chicken that I shredded up. Okay, that's looking really good in there. We're gonna go ahead now and add our pasta. All right, we'll go ahead now and place my lid on it. I'm going to cook this on low heat for about 30 to, well, probably about 30 minutes. I'm gonna add in my frozen vegetables and then give it another 10 to 20 minutes and then we should have creamy chicken noodle soup. I'm gonna go ahead now and add my frozen vegetables. Oh, two cups. All right, I'm gonna put a lid on it and give it about another 10 minutes until I know my pasta's done and the vegetables are nice and soft on the inside. All right, let's take a look. I know it smells amazing, y'all. Oh my goodness, look at that. Creamy chicken noodle soup in my crock pot. Mm, mm -hmm. All right, let's bowl this up. I am so ready to dive into this. Let's give it a try. It just looks amazing. And I'm not gonna tell you what it did to the whole house. It smells amazing also. People are coming in the door going, oh my gosh, I want some of that. All right, we got a spoon here. Mm. Oh my gosh, all those flavors are coming through that I put into this this morning. Mmm, big chunks of chicken we got there, all the veggies and that pasta. Everything is cooked through and amazing. <laughs> all right, y'all, hey, put it together for fall. We're not quite fall yet here in Southeast Texas, but I'm telling you what, you're gonna feel like it once you try this soon. All right, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification and you'll always know when my shows are posted. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and also comment down below. All right, I will see you on my next episode.